Hey guys, it's Andrew here from CMO Apps and in this tutorial, we're going to look at implementing Face ID and Touch ID. Okay, so I've went ahead and created a new single view application right here. But first of all, we're going to use this Cocoa port called Keychain Access. Now what this is going to do is it allows us to use Face ID and Touch ID to essentially encrypt data in the keychain. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using this to encrypt a string and unencrypt a string to show you how you can use Face ID and Touch ID, the biometrics with that. Now that could be used to encrypt anything from a login to a piece of data such as a photo and so on. So what we're going to do, open up terminal to the project location and we're going to do pod init to set up CocoaPods to use that library. Now, if you haven't used CocoaPods before, check out my tutorial in the description below. And finally, open up that pod file. And under pods, we're going to add the pod key chain access save that file then close it and then do pod install in your terminal okay so now open up your xc workspace file in xcode and in the project i've got some logos for touch and face id which can download in the description below so i'm going to add that to the asset because we're going to use these logos later on So once they are added, head on over to our storyboard and let's set up the UI. First of all, we're going to add a text field input up the top where we can type in a string and it's going to encrypt that string. Then we'll find a button and under that we'll call this button store secret. Next up under that, we'll place another button called get secret. We'll place an image under that get secret. And then under that, place a label. And this is going to show us what this secret is, which has been encrypted with biometrics. So touch ID or face ID at the time of this tutorial. So now that you've done that, let's connect it up with the assistant editor. We're going to connect up the text field and we're going to name that TXT secret. And now connect up our image view, and we're going to name that image bio. Then connect up our label and name that label secret. And finally, we need to connect up the two buttons to sort a secret and get the secret. So for store secret, we'll connect up an action, we'll name that store secret. And for get secret, we're going to connect that up with an action and call it get secret. Okay, let's get into the coding. So we're gonna go over to our view controller and under import UI kit, we're gonna do import keychain access. Okay, and next up, we need to get our keychain. So I'm gonna do let keychain, all in lowercase equals keychain and we need to do service, and this service needs to be whatever our app ID is. So we'll do com.example. Let's head over to biometrics, and in mine, it's the bundle identifier, which is steamu.biometrics. So you'll need to use that in your service, otherwise it will not work correctly, and the app may get rejected by Apple. So once you've got that keychain set up with your service, to store the secret, we're going to use try self dot keychain. Then we're going to do dot accessibility. And in the brackets, we'll do dot when passcode is set on this device only. Then we'll do authentication policy in a lowercase. And that's going to be dot user presence. Finally, under accessibility, we're going to do dot set, and we'll set the self dot 
text secret dot text will unwrap that for the key secret and with this try we're going to surround it in a do catch or do do and we'll try that block of code otherwise if it can't save it in the keychain we'll catch the error and we'll simply just print out that error to the console for the developer to look at at this stage and one more thing finally this needs to be surrounded in a dispatch queue dot global dot async when you're dealing with biometrics for this library so make sure to do that and move the code in there so what this store secret does is it will try to go to the keychain with the accessibility it has some options here which you can read into but essentially this when passcode set to this device only essentially says that the user must have the passcode set on the device in order for this to work and finally on the catch it needs to be catch let error so let's move on to getting a secret once we've saved it so getting it is pretty much identical to this block of code here so let's just copy that out move it down to get secret and under the do instead we're going to do let secret equals try self dot keychain then we're going to do dot authentication prompt and we're going to tell the user authenticate to find out the secret then we'll do dot get and we'll put in the key which is secret and finally once we have that we're going to do self dot label secret dot text equals the secret is colon and we'll show the secret to the user and we'll do exclamation mark to unwrap that secret so what this is going to do is it's going to go into the keychain show the authentication prompt authenticate to find out the secret get the secret key which will get the value that's stored in there and set that on the label so whether we use touch id or face id the ios will take care of that for us so one final thing i want to do before i show the app is we're going to go file new file we're going to create a new swift file we're going to call that biometric test and in this file we're going to do import local authentication and we're going to create a new variable called biometric type of the type la bio biometry type then do let auth context equals local authentication context then we'll do return auth context dot biometry type so what this is going to do is we're going to be able to access a new variable called a biometric type and it's going to return whether the device has touch id face id or none of them at all so now if we go back to our view controller in view did load we could do if biometric type equals dot dot touch id else if the biometric type and I'll copy it from up there is equal to dot face ID we can do something else so what we're going to do is that image we added earlier image bio will set the image to be the touch ID image that we imported earlier so in our assets.sc assets that's named touch ID and face ID so if we type touch id usually xcode will let us auto complete but this time it's not so we'll just do ui image and we'll do named and we'll do touch id 
So the newer Xcode sometimes will autocomplete and let you just insert the image name directly, but it's just not coming up for me currently. So we'll go to the old school way. And just another thing, if you do else if, and you do biometric type equals dot none, this means the user has no biometry on their iOS device, biometric stuff on there. So this means that the user has no biometric capabilities on their iOS device. And we'll just print that out to a console with a sad face. So now I'm going to run the app on my iOS device and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so we've got the app on the iPhone now. So I'm going to type in hello and store the secret and we can see it uses Touch ID because I'm using an iPhone 6S with Touch ID. So we store that, we'll relaunch our app. Now we go to get secret. Using Touch ID, it takes a second to decrypt it, but our label's going to change to the secret is hello, like you just saw.